I don't even know why we're doing this. It's not a duet. Billy, you wrote a good song, not a great one. Did you guys want to record something or fight more? I'm fine either way. Okay, let's get this uh, started. This is Honeycomb, take one. Can I ask you a question? What do you think the song's about? What do I think the song is about? What the song yeah, that what I wrote? What about? do I think the song that I wrote is about? Thank you guys so much for talking to me. I got a chance last night to binge all the episodes. All of so them. I, wow, that's dedication. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am dedicated. But one thing that I learned because um, as I was watching it, you know, my boyfriend's like, oh, who is this based on? And who is this based on? And I, I realized that um, Daisy Jones and the Six is based on a fictional band. But I was really curious to know, where did you guys pull your inspiration from? That's a good question. Um, well, the, the book is very loosely based on, I think, bands that Taylor Jenkins Reid listened to and grew up with, and Fleetwood Mac is one of those bands. And that, that, I think that's the obvious kind of like reference point where I think I, think I initially started there. Um, but then I think one of the directors sort of pointed me on to Bruce Springsteen and there was definitely like a style influence for me of Bruce um, and his, his sort of journey through his very long career. Um, but, you know, I think, I think yeah, vocally I, I kind of had guide vocalists that I would try to, um, the, the production or the, the uh, music producers would sort of hook me up with that I was able to kind of base the sound on. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like Bruce covered all. Your guy. Bruce, Brucey, Brucey <laughs> was my man. <laughs> um, and for me, it was just you know so many artists. I watched videos of Joni Mitchell and Cher and Emmy Lou Harris and the Eagles and um, Jimi Hendrix and you know men and women and just kind of really um, wanted to see what their movements were like on stage because I, I really was. Um, aware of how modern my movements are and wanting to make sure that they felt period correct and also listen to their interviews and how they spoke and you know the the, um, the dialect in the 70s was very different to the sort of modern way of speaking so I just I just wanted to have all that information in my head but there wasn't one um, person that I based her off of I think mostly it would have been the book um, and the script and the audiobook and just my own interpretation of them. Yeah, you did a really good job. I mean, uh, voice is both, you know, beautiful. Um, I did, in and because I only have a little bit of time. So uh, episode three really spoke to me. Um, it really focused on facing like your fears. So through acting, has there been any fears that you've had to face? I think that's one of my favorite things about acting is you're constantly being put in situations where that are really challenging um, mm. and doing things that you don't know if you can do daily, you know, from difficult scenes that day to learning to sing or play guitar or acquiring skill sets that you didn't have. Um, and so I certainly love a challenge and being able to, you know, face my fears. Yeah. Thank, Thank you guys you. so much for talking to me. Great job on, yeah. on the show and have a great rest of your day. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Nikki.